everyone's bracing for impact, it appears, uh, as we are encountering the U.S. elections tomorrow uh, on November 5th, 2024, uh, and as well as uh, anticipating or trying to anticipate what we could expect out of Bitcoin, crypto, obviously the stock market as well. Um, in my opinion, doesn't necessarily change anything. Uh, realistically, I know that that is a hard pill to swallow for many, but we're going to take a look at the technicals. As up here, we had a pretty big pattern complete uh, that I've been targeting for quite some time since about the middle or the end of September there, back to the all-time highs. Uh, and uh, what am I targeting next and how can that actually either uh, send us lower in Bitcoin, which would ultimately bring the altcoins down, uh, or will we see or seek out some reversal zones where we can actually see this market continue back up to the upside. Bitcoin actually, you know, fulfill a brand new all-time high. Uh, and then the altcoins, you know, actually see some movement as well. I'm going to cover the Bitcoin dominance, which is a huge factor uh, when looking for altcoin movements uh, and trying to determine when we're going to see some of those moves, as well as the Ethereum versus Bitcoin chart as well. So it's going to be a jam-packed episode as always. All I ask is that you watch this video till the end uh, and then uh, let me know in the comments section what you think about this content. So let's just jump right on into it. Simple view here on Bitcoin, right? We've got a huge range that we've been, uh, you know, basically sifting through ever since the $74,000, uh, just about $74,000. It was on, at least on Bybit here is seventy three nine fifty one. I'm sure on other exchanges it did breach a little higher, but as we all know, we've been, you know, pretty much just sideways uh, with some decent, you know, moves in between that, you know, has caused the altcoins um, pretty heavily to roll over pretty hard. Uh, this was a pretty sizable move here for Bitcoin from high to low, right? You're talking 33%, which, um, you know, was accompanied by some scary you know news alongside the the drops obviously every time we were at these highs we were accompanied by exciting news right etf etf uh and so on but i brought up the uh harmonic pattern that has potentially uh completed here uh with a couple of specific targets down to the bottom here uh, and we were looking for this you know to pretty much start to get underway when we traded back down to this fifty four thousand dollar level back in september right so this was actually uh at the time a range that i was looking for us to to basically rotate from high to low, uh, looking to you know basically reclaim and hold that you know low area as support, which was right here, right? Look for that range rotation. At that point, we started to see this little W formation, right? Just like how we were looking for one over here, where we had that all-time high shark. If you remember from this one earlier this year, right? Took the short or looked for at least a pullback, regardless of what it was, right? Uh, up in this region, obviously Ethereum had a major pattern as well that showcased a potential 50% pullback. Uh, and then we had some very specific targets for this. Right? Right. So down along the way, came down and met those. Right. So uh, that has since come and gone. The newest one I've been looking for was going to be this butterfly. And originally, you know, this this and, you know, completion zone could have occurred uh, up in this region here. I was actually looking for like 75, 78 K. Uh, you know, it would have been a perfect scenario to come up and actually like take that all time high and then get everybody really worked up on a pullback, which this would have had a technical pullback, uh, which we'll get into here in a second, which one target is just below us here at 65 K. And when looking for, you know, some confluence of, you know, how we could have traded this uh, personally, I did not get a short here uh, just so you know. Right. So I've just, it was just kind of keeping me level headed and grounded on, on some of the areas where you know I was looking for a reaction at this region. I did have a long, a short-term long that I took, uh, you know, right around sixty-five thousand from last week. So I was looking for that break above. I ended up closing it at seventy-one thousand, just about. But either way, you know, looking at this, you know, what what could we have seen here? Uh, and when you're looking at some of these harmonic patterns, right, it's really hard to just think that all right, this is the end zone. Expansion is you know the minimum it needs to be. Um, but how could you have traded that? Well, you probably really couldn't have. Uh, and even for myself, I was looking for, you know, I tend to look for these, you know, a high, and then you look for a little bit of a confirmation. And what I mean by that is if you zoom into the lower time frame now, didn't have too much time here, but right, we came up, we topped, you know, potentially here. Obviously, at this point now, it looks like a decent little top short term. Uh, you got to pull back to the VWAP and then you pulled up right here. And this is where you would have been looking for, right? So if I'm going to cut this price action, you know, at this point, and we go back in time to this area right here, and you take a local gold pocket, right? You look for that, boom, pull the high, pull the low, and you note that we've got now our high potentially that is in. You look for that lower high right into a key region, right? So you got the golden pocket uh, resistance right here. That would have been the entry, honestly, for the short. And then, uh, you know, targeting a few things down below us, we had a couple of key levels. 
uh, and we still have a couple more down below us, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and cover how we can start to look at this. Now, last week in the Discord, I covered all these, obviously, as like time is you know, going on, I try to give as many live time updates as I can, uh, where I was showcasing that the butterfly pattern that we had been kind of looking to complete around that 75 to 78, very well could have completed at that 73, 600, you know, where we kind of topped out at. I had a long, which was not an ideal entry, right? It was 65,750. So pretty much our uh, current low, right? That last low right down here is pretty much where I entered. Uh, so for me, it was too much of a risk or it just wasn't worth holding on to that long. If we were potentially going to come back down to it, you know, I could pretty much maybe even get another entry from there and take two trades at that same region. Uh, it's just going to depend. But I did end up noting that I closed it 70,700 uh, reasons why all that good stuff. And then the updates that came uh, from there. Right. So and then what can we look to at the moment? Uh, well, from this pattern here, it's got a few specific targets, right? And I've got the one butterfly target mapped out here. That's not the only one, but that is one. And realistically, it's this 382 fib retracement. You've got your B point right at about 65,000. Uh, and then you've got the gold pocket if those are lost, right? So uh, there's a couple other things down here. Personally, I'm not looking that low quite yet, but it's just something to be aware of, right? So uh, for me, I am really, really got my attention on this region right here for a couple of other reasons, but just to keep it simple, I'll just put it as this one major target. Um, I imagine we probably come down and like take the lows a little bit, right? So you get a little bit of a wick in this region, but uh, we'll be looking for, you know, maybe a pierce down into like six or seven uh, and then reclaim that uh, 382. Uh, and then I'll be looking to see if we get the you know continuation up here, right? And then uh, at the end of the day, realistically, Bitcoin's still putting in, you know, you got your low, we got our high, we've got our low. Yes, granted, we had our downtrend over here, but you could, you know, argue that we've been shifting that a bit on this side, right? So your low, you got a little bit of a higher high right here, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. You know, we're looking for a potential higher low right here, right? So, and honestly, as long as we're, you know, living above this region, you know, it's really nothing to worry about. So even if we did come down to that gold pocket, um, but for me, that 382 is really what I'm looking for uh, to see some potential continuation. That's where I'd be looking for the fresh entries. If I'm looking for Bitcoin, if I'm looking for altcoins, right? So uh, for me, uh, I've been picking up altcoins along the way here, right? So for those mid to long-term plays, just looking and treating the Bitcoin pullbacks as almost like just entry areas, right? So if you can, you can have a chart set up for some of these altcoins or you could eat, you know, me personally, when Bitcoin hit 59K, I wasn't around uh, desk-wise. There's a couple of alts that I decided to pick up um just when we hit that key support right and that was pretty much your your local low there right for everything uh you had a similar situation obviously on the 6th of august and then on the uh 9th or 10th of september right so if you look back at all the price action you know bitcoin obviously leads the way so um yeah so for this i'm looking for the pullback we're looking at the 382 target of this you know harmonic pattern and looking to see if we get that continuation on out of here okay now i do want to point out the bitcoin dominance and the ethereum versus bitcoin chart because i think that there's a lot of alignment here as well when looking for you know potential decent play in the altcoins coming soon and bitcoin this has been my target zone for you know the better part of this year uh, which is up here at about 62% into 64. Maybe we peer, you know, punch through it, who knows? But uh, regardless, this is an area where if we start to see a reaction, and realistically, we could see it now, right? We're at 60, 60.1%, 60.5%. Uh, either way, you know, Bitcoin rolling over on dominance, you want this chart to go down if you're looking at altcoins to go up, right? So, uh, and one of the one of the best environments would be for dominance to start rolling over. Uh, and Bitcoin's price actually continuing higher, right? So uh, that's something that that's like the best environment for the altcoins. But uh, overall, we've had nothing but pretty much upside since, you know, November 22. You know, granted, even during those times, you had plenty of opportunities and, and really good moves out of the altcoins. Uh, but when we get this actual move up and we, and we get this rollover, you'll get those really nice, really nice moves out of the altcoins, in my opinion, right? So uh, that's what I've been, you know, kind of preparing for i still am preparing for those on these bitcoin dips yeah it just as you know entry is everything so it just depends on when you're looking to get in obviously many people are chasing the green days and don't look for opportunities on the red days but uh that's just kind of how you have how you have to do it right so uh looking for this to push up maybe get a rollover uh my timing for this realistically not necessarily for any reason aside from what i'm about to show but i'm looking for like november december right so uh this month i guess uh potentially towards the end you know you maybe get that uh thanksgiving you know everybody's around the table and the altcoins start popping and that's you know sometimes a little chat but uh the eth versus btc chart is kind of the one that gives me more of a, a december time frame for this shift so on that last chart we were looking you wanted the you want the dominance to go down if you are investing in altcoins or looking for altcoins to move higher for the eth btc pair 
you obviously want the opposite, right? We want to see this chart go up, which means Ethereum is going to outperform Bitcoin in the sense of percentage gains and, and whatnot. And generally, that means we have the altcoins as a whole moving up, right? Uh, so same deal. Uh, I've had a target box down below us uh, for some time. Will we hit it? You know, it's hard to know. It is a, a sizable drop still down below us. So it doesn't necessarily mean best short term for altcoins. So like, you know, when I'm looking at Bitcoin, maybe dropping down to that 64, 65K again, uh, maybe that's when we get this little jaunt or something of that nature. It doesn't really matter, right? Either way, though, we're very close. This is 12% off. Uh, there's a harmonic uh, pattern here as well, right? So it's a potential bat that I've been looking at for quite a while. Uh, and, you know, it doesn't have to necessarily come all the way down to this region. You know, this could very well complete right here at this yearly volume target, uh, which is 12% below us. But either way, you know, we're at a position now where you're within a 12, 20% region, in my opinion, where we will see at least a decent bounce, right? So it doesn't necessarily mean we go up to these levels here, anything in this, in this chart right here that tends to give us a really big move out of the altcoins, right? So this was... Uh, basically the end of last year and the beginning of this year when we saw pretty much the, the altcoin season um, recently, right? Where we saw things like Ondo blowing up and, you know, Solana. I, I mean, everything, everything was moving pretty well. Obviously we had some sizable things come in with uh, like uh, the meme coins and stuff towards the end. But uh, yeah, had a pretty sizable move off of 20% there, right? So even if we get a pretty decent move out of here, uh, if this pattern was to complete right now, the target immediately is pretty much back to the B point. So from where we are now, that's a 37% move. If we drop this puppy lower, that's potentially 50%, right? That would be a really good time for the altcoins. Just unfortunately, uh, I do think that we're still looking more so for like another month or so before we see it, right? So a fib time that I've been pulling and looking for here uh, aligns with uh, December. Uh, doesn't, you know, can't necessarily marry that. Uh, but this is an area where I've been looking for this potentially to, you know, get a, a pivot, right? So whether or not it's the bottom uh, and we get an ultimate rally, uh, even for it to just kind of, you know, reverse a little bit, maybe get a 10, 15, 20% pump will be around this, uh, you know, first or second week of December. Uh, and then, like I said, if we see this chart rally, uh, that's what you want to see for all coins. If you see the dominance chart drop, it's also what you want to see for the all coins, right? So we want to see this one roll over a bit here. Uh, and then in general for Bitcoin as a whole, ideally we're looking for this puppy to con get the continuation from here, right? So keep, keep this uptrend intact essentially, right? You got a nice clear low, higher low, higher low, higher low. Uh, I think we'll come down and we'd sweep that uh, where I entered my last long, but I closed it, right? So that's why I closed that up there. And whether or not we went higher was whatever, because it was not a great entry. So I had to protect that. And once again, I didn't dump all my bags or anything like that, right? That was a short-term play. You know, I've been accumulating altcoins uh, for some time here after selling back here. Um, Ethereum was a big one. And um, yeah, so I think that we got a couple of still bumpy weeks ahead. I know it's going to be attributed to uh, everything that's going on right now. You got elections and all this and all that. Truthfully, it doesn't matter. Uh, the, you know, the technicals are there. Um, I do anticipate that we at least pull back to the $65,000 area. Uh, like I said, the technical targets of this are these three. So even if we pulled back to here, it's not anything to get overly, you know, frantic about. Um, but if you're looking for those fresh areas to be considering putting on risk, whether it's on Bitcoin or on altcoins. And like I said, like my biggest thing is when I, when I point out these key areas to, to get involved, I don't know what your situation is, right? For me, I've been doing this for almost 10 years. So I have such a different strategy and I'm always around and I, and I'm always multi, you know, I have, I have so many different things I'm juggling that I am looking for. You might as well, you, you may as well. You also might just have entered the market right at these highs. It's really tough to get in right for me when I'm talking about buying $2,100 Ethereum. That's after I bought it at $300 back in 27, uh, 2020, right? 2017. Um, it's after I've sold it this year at 3,300 and bought it originally again, you know, after uh, 1100 back in 2022. So for me to come in at these areas, it's not the same necessarily as maybe somebody just getting in. Like if I end up going a little underwater right here, I'm truly not technically underwater, right? I'm in my mind, I guess. Um, but it can be tough if you're coming in brand new and you're just now deploying capital and, you know, we see 10, 15 percent pullback. You, you got to know that's the risk we're at. Right. We're at all time highs across the board. Um, 
I do think we can go higher. But you got to be able to manage your risk. I can't tell you what to do. I don't know what you are doing, right? So this is just key regions, what I'm looking for and why. And then I hope that that makes sense for you to, you know, kind of transcribe that and like obviously do your own research as well, you know, figure out what makes sense for you. But that's what I like to do. I like to point out key areas because I can point out every single altcoins, you know, major support zone, but realistically, one of the biggest like ways I've been decently successful with some of the altcoins mid to long term is just looking for the key regions on Bitcoin. When Bitcoin or Ethereum hit those areas, I don't got to look at another altcoins chart. If I want Chainlink, if I want Ondo, if I want whatever the case it may be, you know, Bitcoin comes down to 65K, that's the next time I'm going to buy it. When Bitcoin drops back down, if, if it drops down to 59K, that's the next time I'm going to buy it, right? Um, that's a simple, real easy outlook to look at, right? Still may be a little underwater for the short term, right? You might fluctuate 10, 20% here and there, um, but that's how I'll be looking at it. But either way, looking for Bitcoin to come down to these regions uh, and then take back off into the new all-time high. So if you would like updates like these in live time, basically 24-7, all night, all morning, all weekend, uh, as well as an included academy where I cover all the tools, everything I use every single day. I got exclusive member videos here, right, where I cover the, uh, the market before I go public with certain things and certain ideas. Click the link in my bio to join the leading crypto Discord server. Uh, I am offering the 14-day free trial once again for the month of November, right? So give it a try, 14 days, completely free if it's not for you obviously uh, cancel before you're charged but i do feel that you'll see the value i i post probably 10 to 15 times per day uh you know so times that by 20 even just for the week work week and then realistically 30 days a month you get a lot of information there's a lot of other great traders in the group that post a lot of their own information in some of the chat areas um, but like I said, if it's not for you, obviously, you know, you get a trial stage and then, uh, you can decide for yourself. And, uh, aside from that, thank you all for watching till the end. I hope to see you all in the next video until then everybody cheers.